when looking for love, forget Tinder. Us humans have the ultimate app. Pheromones, the chemicals our bodies produce that attract us to a potential mate. It's biologically driven and it's a part of the survival of the species, so it's a really strong drive. Marriage and family therapist Tarina Piccarello says that we don't always smell pheromones. They operate on a subconscious level. So you don't necessarily have to know you're smelling it. Your body picks up those cues anyway, sort of like nonverbal communication. The Smell Dating app is first on our list of sniffing out a soulmate. The experimental dating service has you send in a worn t-shirt, which is then cut up and sent to possible dates. Tarina says the science behind it is solid if you do it right. So you wouldn't want to use perfume and deodorant because it's going to skew the data. You want to really just have as close as you can to your authentic smell. Next. Pheromone perfume. To spray or not to spray? That is the question. There's so much bio-individuality, that's probably why they're getting frustrated that they can't come up with this one right formula. There's definitely going to be some that really work for a lot of people. So that answer is yes and no. Lastly, crying. There's more to it than meets the eye. The pheromones in your tears send a message. So if you're a man and you're walking up on a potential female partner and she is upset in a negative way, so she's hurt or she's crying because she's sad, then your biology is going to respond in kind. Then it's going to shut down your sexual arousal because those are competing intentions. So tears of sadness can lead to happily ever after with an empathetic partner. Tarina's final bit of advice. The pheromones are not gonna respond the same way to everyone because we're all so individual. Sniffing out your soulmate is on our to-do list.